All right, y'all, today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, man, it's gonna get a little spicy. Let's get into the video, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama, today, Uncle Joey still ho. Let's get right into the video. Before we do, I just wanna say shout out to all of my LGBTQ, LMNOP, QRS, TUV. All right, there is nothing wrong with being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender queer, whatever it is that you want to identify yourself with, right? But I do feel like you need to let that potential partner know what it is and who you really are. Because if you don't, shit could get very dangerous and it could go from zero to 100 nigga real quick. And it's going to be your fault. Okay. I never wish harm on anybody, but some of y'all niggas really have it coming to you. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. I lived with my boyfriend and his parents for three months, and none of them knew that I was transgender. I'm gonna tell you how she found out. So basically, there's a little background on me. Um, I started transitioning when I was a teenager, and you know, I went through all and around. Um, I met my boyfriend here in New York, and you know, he was staying in Buffalo, but he relocated to New York, homeless. Um, I met him outside. We eventually ended up getting together, and he told me you know, he was staying in Buffalo, but he relocated to New York, homeless. How did he relocate? Like on foot or? Um, I met him outside. We. <laughs> she said I met him outside. That is a different story. What a love story. All right, let's see how this fairy tale unfolds, guys. We eventually ended up getting together, and. <laughs> He told me that he was going to move back in with his parents and he would love for me to come with. So I went and I didn't tell him, yo, I'm trans. He introduced me to his mom. He introduced me to his dad. I met a few of his siblings. And, um, you know, I was even laying in the bed. There are times that I was like, showering and my mom would come in and, da, 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 and nobody had a clue. So one day, I asked him to see his phone, and um, my phone was not working, so I logged into my Instagram, and I had two Instagram accounts, I had one for people that I know. Alright, whoever made this video, shout out to you, but god damn, why do you have the fucking instrumental blasting so fucking loud in the background, bruh? I'm trying to pay attention to two things at once, and it's hard. So one day, I asked him to see his phone, and um, my phone was not working, so I logged into my Instagram, and I had two Instagram this is the thing y'all so many people are living a lie out here bruh the most important thing that you need to do is be real with yourself all right for one and then you also need to be real with the people that you interact with because like i said this type of shit is on another level this type of shit can really get you murked out here and it happens every day b it happens every day and i would hate to see you know a life go down the drain for some nonsense okay like i said there's nothing wrong with you being who you are fully accept and be who you are i feel like that's the best thing that you could do with your life regardless of what anybody thinks as long as you're not hurting anybody as long as you're not lying to anybody all right as long as you're not withholding information that could change somebody's life and perception of you bruh you know do you but when it comes to these circumstances, man, you really have to be careful. One, one, one. I ended up forgetting to look out. And his mom went to use her phone after me. And the next day when I woke up, I just found her acting really funny. She was mm. acting really strange. Mm -hmm. She loves me or loved me. Mm. But then she started mm. acting very standoffish. Almost mm. like you betrayed me like mm. you can see the look in her eye because you did so you know i finally decide that i've had enough with attention and i want to ask her what's really good like what's happening what's going on with b so she's she should ask you the same thing like um you locked into my phone last night do you know what you left on there i said no nothing i should have logged out and she said i'm on your page and i watched the videos i said she says, of your transition. Mm. You didn't tell us. Mm. So then she's like, um, you were around my kids. You were around my grandkids. You were around my nieces and nephews. Why didn't you tell me this? I said, ma'am, listen. You make it seem like I'm a threat to the public safety or something. Mm, I bruh. Girl, but I'm it's common courtesy bro it's common courtesy i feel like the main thing is you did not tell your man bro you did not tell your man and i don't know what y'all have been doing sexually 
But, you know, like, that's the main thing. The kids is going to be kids, and it doesn't matter if you're trans. And kids love you for your energy, right? But this is on a whole nother level, man. Like, you didn't tell your man. And the mom is, I feel like the mom is uh, upset for the wrong reasons. Just because the kids were around, you act like she's a mass murderer or something. I do agree with her on that point. That's a good point that she made. Like, there's no reason why you should be upset that I was around kids. But at the same time, it's just like you have to respect not only the boyfriend, but you also have to respect the boyfriend's family too. And you're, you're like withholding that information is just like not right. Let me know how y'all feel. I knew if I would have said something that I would be labeled otherwise and I would be dehumanized and treated funny. That's why I didn't say nothing. She said, well, you got to get up and help clean up. You know what? If you're going to be living here, you got to help clean up. She started getting real, like, like you know, snappy. At least she didn't kick you out. I'm just going to pack my things and go because I know that's the next thing you're going to say. Mm. She said, yeah. Does my son know? I no. said, no. She said, you know what? We're going to keep between us, but you got to go. I said, Damn, she a real one for that. So though. what did I do? I pack myself. Cause I'm telling my son. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what y'all doing. Y'all telling y'all son or not? Nah? I'm telling my son, bro. I said. Okay. So what did I do? I pack myself in my bed. I was gonna play with her. If y'all could see my face the whole time I'm watching this video, <laughs> how does one live with someone and not tell that that person is not who they say? Bro, don't judge me for saying this, but face wise. I can see her pulling this off for a date or two. She for a date or two. I mean, you really can't tell. I don't know if it's like a filter that she uses, but like, she looks like a girl. I'm not going to lie. And, you know, since she is trans, she is a girl now. So, like, yeah, that's why it's so dangerous. Like I said, man, like, you really have to be careful because niggas is not playing with y'all, man. They're not playing with y'all. And I be telling, you know, I've had close people in my inner circle who have lied to guys. You know, I've had trans people in my circle who have shared certain things with me. And I let them know, bro. You know, you have to be up front. And, and it's crazy because when I had this conversation with this person, person, she was like, well, you know, I feel like that's personal. I feel like I shouldn't uh, divulge that information until we actually feel like we're going somewhere. No, bro. No. You might not make it home if you don't divulge that information, bro. Allow that person to make the decision. It's kind of like, look, if you're with somebody and you say, look, I'm not happy. I want to go do my thing. I'm going to talk to other women, right? If your partner says, I know you want to talk to other women or dudes, but I still want to be with you, you know, like that's on them because you gave them that choice. At least you're being upfront with that partner. Instead of going out and doing you, you're telling your partner, hey, I wanna see other people. So if you wanna stay, you can stay. If you wanna go, you can go. You give that person the option, whether or not they wanna deal with your shenanigans, okay? Same thing if you are trans. You give that person the option, whether or not they want to like date somebody who is trans. You have to allow that choice to be made. You can't lie to somebody and withhold that information that information is so vital bro she got the nails the lashes the makeup the braids even the rap she might have pulled it off for like a date or two but not long enough to move in with him and his mother and be around i'm wondering what they was doing like was they just doing it in the dark like where was the where was the where was your popsicle at you know like kids and grandkids of the family now i don't want this to sound like i'm passing judgment but i'm just saying so I decided to go to her TikTok to see how much like a woman does she actually look like. Okay. You know, Let's like see. full body wise. All right. Y'all, I don't know how this man got bamboozled like this. <laughs> he had to know that was a man. She got a whole <laughs> little boy body. And I know that some men are into petite women. Uh -huh. And not all of them have big breasts, hips, or booty. Yeah. But bro, stop playing. Okay, let's see. This is some scary shit. Somebody <laughs> let me know that this is even illegal to do. If not, it should be. It should be. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just like it's, it's illegal to not tell somebody that you have AIDS or STD and, like, transmit that shit. It should be illegal for you to, like, withhold that information. That's serious, bro. Now, I know a lot of people in the LGBTQ plus community speak on how dangerous it is for someone to come out. But do you know that this is just as, if not more, dangerous to do? Man, I agree 100%. I agree 100% with you, man. Sean from NY, NVY, my bad, NVY. I agree 100%, and I am a member of the LGBTQ community, you know? Um, 
this is hella dangerous. This is way more dangerous than being up front and saying, hey, look, I'm trans, okay? So if you don't mess with that, then deuce deuce. You're setting yourself up. Literally, you're settling, settling. You're setting yourself up to get whacked in some cases, bro. Yeah, that is not, that's a serious thing to talk about. You know, it's serious. You're not giving the other person a choice to choose Facts. if they want to be a part of this. And for you to not only lie to him, right. you actually got his mother involved. Yeah. And you got it so his mother's not actually honest with him. Man. That's some cold-blooded shit. Bro. Cold, man. I agree, Sean from Envy. Why, man? Uh, maybe it's Sean from Envy. Sean from Envy. Maybe that's how he says it. But anyway, his link will be in the description down below if y'all want to go check out the full video. But I definitely understand exactly what he's saying. Shout out to all of my LGBTQ, LMNOPQRSTUV um, members out there, man. Really, we all, like, I feel like we have come such a long way to accept ourselves, for one, and to actually come out to the world. And, and now the world accepts us and embraces us is just a wonderful thing. But... You know, all my T's out there, if you are in the trans community, please, this is a PSA, a public service announcement. Please be careful. Do not stay dangerous. You need to stay safe out here, man. There was a movie, a really, really good movie that I watched about this similar situation. Trans, uh, two trans women who eventually died because, um they withheld that information bro it's so important to divulge that information man asap asap and why would you want to live a lie why would you want to have to watch your back and have to worry about oh man you know if this is the day he finds out ain't no telling what he gonna do bro come on man you can't play with people like that let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below and make sure that you guys do give a like comment subscribe all of that make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mama today uncle joey still a home see you guys at the next Motherfucking video, I love you, We out, baby.